like I timed that right. Here she comes. Remember this truck, you guys. It's gonna have an impact throughout the video. That's a shorty. It's coming on the short bus today, guys. Is that it right there? Yeah. Huh. All right, you know what? I can I can probably just fork it right off. You don't even have to use the lit, uh, your, your Oh, you don't have one. Hey, I'm gonna get the camera set up and we'll fork this off. Let's, let's make this forking happen. I'm gonna jump in here because there is no way that I was going to make a whole video on this thing. And then I kind of had one of those aha moments. I remember a conversation I was having actually back at the GIE where a parent came to me and was asking for options for their son that was starting out in lawn care. They couldn't afford a trailer and they couldn't afford the insurance to have the trailer. And how could they get their lawn care equipment moved around easy enough? And that's when I realized that this thing that you guys are about to see may, may be a decent go-between. I don't know, and maybe you guys can tell me, but let's just check it out together. lift gator i've never seen anything like this so we're gonna let's crack her open next and uh check it out so the only thing that i've ever seen of this was one picture and about a 10 second video clip and i was like hmm let's check this out in a little bit more detail You guys see that busted board on the side? That's the first indicator of trouble. That top board was not supposed to fall out. So it doesn't look too bad yet. So what this is, this is a lift gate for a pickup truck or a van. And I had this aha moment, maybe this could be the solution for guys that are trying to eliminate a trailer, but we're gonna find out how this actually works. What Sam is opening right here is a battery charger for the unit itself. It's self powered and you charge it up using this Duracell trickle charger that attaches right into the back. All right, we got the trickle charger. The ramps are aluminum. The unit itself has two legs, jacks that go up and down and stabilize it. Honestly, I, I kind of think this is going to be a big deal. I kind of think this is going to be a big deal too. Yeah. I mean, I've already eliminated, like, I need to haul the Gravely up to the cabin. I got to go brush, I got to cut oh. brush. No trailer. How many, how many times have I hauled the trailer just to haul something because I couldn't lift it? It wasn't big, but it was just too heavy too to heavy lift. Too heavy to lift. Yeah, right, but exactly. it fit perfectly in the back of the truck. Throw her in there. Don't laugh at my shoes. They're comfortable. Go up. Right in the back of the truck. Okay, so... So if we have this... It doesn't... This doesn't lock. No. But if we have it down, do you see how close it is to the back of the pickup truck? Right, but that's why I was saying we gotta go in one more hole. So if we go in one more hole, then this will rest on top of the truck. One inch, one inch Because if we, I bet if we were driving down the road like this. It might vibrate down. It might get kink. Right, well, yeah. you'd, you'd screw your truck up. Oh, it would screw this in. up. I yeah. want, this wouldn't screw your truck up. No, I mean, no, whatever, no, something no. would get screwed up. Something would, something would bend. Something would bind. Yeah. Okay, so. 
Let's drop it down and then we can slide the whole unit in because it's yep. adjustable. Okay. Yep. Well, each jack, each side is controlled separately. So I'm raising mine up, you're raising yours up. <sighs> so these guys, the shipping company damaged it when they were shipping mine. Okay. I'm on now. I took the pin out. We're going to go to the next hole in. Here we go. Right there? Yep, right there. Good on my side. Okay, we're in. We're in. Okay. Yeah. That's better. Now we've got plenty of bite. Yeah. Well, should we test it out? Sure, put something on it. Yeah, let's. Right. Yep. Nice. Okay, we're down. Has this been fired this year yet even? No. So Frankie does all the snow blowing and shoveling on all of our sites, which means he's got to take this unit from site to site to site. And we've tried a number of different things to do that, figuring out what works best. We've got a little trailer for him. We hooked up one of those handicap accessible wheelchair ramps on the back of a truck, tried to load this thing on it, and that was a near disaster. So hopefully that this might be a good option for him. But we've got to get it to fire up to test it out. That's where the extension cord comes in good. The sweet smell of old gas. Okay, so you see how Frankie's pushing this on the first time? That doesn't work so hot. Because getting it off, it kind of feels sketchy. Now you see how I'm wiggling that? That should have been my first sign. Hey, something's not right, Stan. Why is this so wiggly? And the thing is, we don't have the jack stands down. Those jack stands stabilize the whole unit so that it doesn't wiggle. So your gate does have to come off. And this technically replaces your tailgate. Now you'll see those wheels that are on the bottom of that jack stand. That's so you can take this unit off from your truck, roll it wherever you want, and hook it right up to another truck. It just slides right into your hitch receiver. But it would work a lot better if we actually took those wheels off and put them down on the ground and stabilized it. But we'll get there eventually. You want to hop in the truck or you want to take the ride up? I'll take the ride up. All right, so technically, you're not supposed to ride up the lift, but we're still trying to figure out the best way to do it. And right now we don't have it because this is still a two man operation. I want to get it so it's one person doing it safe and see how this will work the best. That aluminum ramp is really light. And once you push it up, it locks in place. And that becomes your tailgate. That doesn't lock in place. You gotta lower it. Well, or else leave it like, yeah, yeah. Leave it just like that even. Yep. Oh. Tail lights are on the bottom. Oh, okay. You see this thing that got beat to crap from shipping? Oh, that's the LED lighting? Yeah. Oh, they still work. I'll have to bend that. I'll have to straighten that metal out and then straighten them lights. Put them lights out. Yeah, but yeah. they still work. Yeah, the whole shroud got bent. Yeah. And when the shipping company brought it, they snapped this. And then uh, this is actually look at the LED lighting is actually twisted right there. See, they they skull kink, kinked in right there. Yeah, they they wrecked it, didn't they? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, the lighting, it's not, the unit itself isn't wrecked, but man, no. look at how hard they hit that. Yeah. Do you know they had this sitting in their warehouse for two weeks? And I, I contacted the company, he's like, hey, are you ever gonna take a look at that lift gator? And I'm like, hey, when are you gonna send it? And they're like, we sent that two weeks ago. <laughs> and the, the shipping company was it's calling. Been sitting there. Yeah, they never called me. Oh, wow. And they just kept moving it around, beating it up. Look at the light is dented in. Yeah, that one side, yep, 
that one side, that one was, yeah. Because I didn't even look to, I walked on the other side to see if they'd both be like that. Right. Kind of, kind of wild. Okay. Uh, hey, hit the brake lights. I want to see if those are integrated, if those lights are integrated to the brake lights or what they are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are integrated. And the blinkers. Dang it. Half of it's going then? Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they got it integrated right into the blinkers. Yeah, we're in. Oh, there we go. Yeah. And now you can raise and lower your jack stands. If you lose your power, yep. Okay. If you have oh, dude, we're doing it wrong. Why? We did it wrong every single time. Why? Because we got to have the jack stands down. Well, when you lift it up and down? Yeah. Oh, for support. Yeah. Now that you see it. <laughs> Maybe we should try doing it again the right way. Okay. Okay. I promise you we will eventually get it right. Or we'll just keep trying until we figure out all the different ways to get it wrong. And then what's left has to be right. Okay, so you took off the feet. Hey, this time try to lower yourself down. Okay. Can you think you can do that? Now I know not all of you guys do snow blowing and some of you are more interested in this for lawn care equipment. Will this actually help you guys out? Well, the only more I have available is a 48 inch X mark. And so we're gonna try that next. It's not gonna fit on the deck and I know that, but I wanna see if this thing can even lift it. Kick your date down. So to help put this in size comparison, this is the Xmark 48 inch mower, which is you know way bigger than you'd ever fit in the back of a pickup truck anyway. But I figured some of you guys would wanna see just how much this thing could actually lift. So let's just see if this thing can lift it. Let's see if the hydraulics can handle it or if the jacks will crush. Should we try it? See how much power it's got. Yeah. Well, we're not, our front wheels aren't on, so. Well, that'll go. No problem. That looks safe, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah <laughs> I mean, she's powering it up. You want to let her down? I'll catch her from this angle. So it can easily Ready? handle it. It's just that the mower is too big for the ramp itself. So I could see if you had just a little bit smaller mower than a 48 inch like this one and could fit on that ramp, you'd be golden. All right. It can lift it. It just can't fit it. I want to see if there's options for guys that don't, right, right. don't want to go to the trailer and a lot route. Of guys ain't got small trailer or small trucks either. And you know, it's extra insurance, extra right. trailers, extra yeah. insurance. A whole a whole set of insurance and tires and may and brakes and lights and all the other maintenance so I'm just looking for options for these guys I think for winter work I think we're there I think for landscaping work we're there when we have, we, uh, deliver uh, salt and stuff to the church and place, yeah throw it on there put it on you know lift it up throw it on the truck yep all right, you guys, well, I'm actually gonna start using this and seeing how practical it is because I use my pickup truck for to haul stuff up north all the time and I'm to constantly towing a trailer when I really don't feel like I need to. And I wanted to try to find a practical solution that maybe could also help some of you guys out. So you're gonna see me testing this thing for the rest of this, uh, well, as long as I own it. And I'll, I'll just kind of keep you updated. And if you guys want to, you know, see more on it, you can go check it out over on Instagram as well because I'll post some stuff up there on it. And that's all we got for you today. God bless you guys. Go get them and just have an awesome day. Hopefully we'll see you on another one. Catch you later, you guys.